you tonight out of Ironton, where just minutes ago we learned a controversial YouTuber has been arrested. Chile De Castro, who claims to fight police corruption, has been in Ironton now for several days. Well, yesterday, a large group of residents counter protested De Castro's presence in a back the blue rally. On a YouTube video from about an hour ago, De Castro was ordered by police to leave a building, but he refused to do so. According to this video, he was then taken into custody. We'll have more on this for you a little later tonight. Sometimes things happen that are just so perfect, so great. They just land right in your arms, and you can't help but talk about it. You can't help but express yourself on how you feel about these things. Now, as you guys know, I've made a few videos about this channel called Delete Laws. This guy basically goes from town to town. He says he teaches people about constitutional law. I don't care what he does. I don't care what he does. I don't. I don't think he's doing anybody a service like he thinks he is. Um, definitely making a lot of that money. Though. Making that money. Because that's how it works. That money. You don't really care about the people you're so-called defending. You're just an asshole. And we'll talk about that. So before we get into what happened today, let's talk about a couple things real quick. So this guy, the leak laws, you know, he, he's still around causing problems. You know, we had a little parade type thing. It was a back to blue rally in this area. And this prick was just causing problems. Nobody wants him here. Nobody does. And I don't know why somebody would invite him thinking he's going to do something great. He's not. He's not. He's a sellout. He's just doing it for the clicks. And you know what? Got to respect the hustle. Got to respect that hustle. Because, I mean, let's face it. He's got a way bigger channel than me. He's full up maybe prettier than me. Maybe. I don't know. I'm a pretty good looking guy. Who am I kidding? I look like face fuck version of George Clooney. That's what I look like. But anyways, <laughs> we're not here to talk about me and my beautifulness. We're here to talk about this dick bag, uh, delete laws, and the perfect thing that happened today. See, there's this thing you say. You hear it all the time. You play stupid games. You win stupid prizes. And this guy's been harassing a lot of the cops and a lot of people off and on, doing these interviews with people that, you know, apparently had problems with the law. And I'm not saying or discrediting that. You probably did. And I'm not saying that. This isn't one of those back the blue videos, even though I do know quite a few people within the police, you know, the justice system in this area to know that a lot of the stuff that you are saying is untrue. Though you do have video evidence of some things that are hard to disqualify. I admit that. Not all cops are good cops, but not all cops are bad cops. Or what you say, you call them terrorists. Now, this motherfucker does go around <laughs> tearing flags from the highway that has blue lines, you know, wishing the worst, wishing them to go to hell. They're sons of bitches, pieces of shit. Terrorist. Where was you at 9-11 when we needed you, guy? Where was you on 9-11? You could have saved us from the terrorist. But here you are in Ironton, Ohio. Where was you? Since you're fighting the terrorisms, all the terrorisms, all the people that doesn't align with your side, I guess, are terrorisms. Terrorisms! what they are that's what you say that's what you say but you do teach millions of billions and trillions of people around the world constitutional law yeah you know, I'm not saying you don't do that but you also go into courtrooms and places bragging about how big your TikTok channel is fuck me I'm 50 years old with a TikTok you know I'm 30 some years old I've got a TikTok but look at this guy. He brags about it. 
But to make sure he's getting the point across, he has to have his finger guns. That way you know he's serious. Gotta have them finger guns. Is that illegal? Is that terrorism? Is that threats? Is that threats? He's disgusting. He's a pig. You know, he's afraid. He, he says he's not afraid of things. He, he thinks he's above these people. He thinks he could put people in line. You know, there are probably people that are scared of you. You probably do have dirt on some people. Maybe. Maybe. You might be right. You might be wrong. But the way you're approaching things is quite obviously assholish. And for somebody that's supposed to be for the law, you have a community that's just all about giddiness of violence and people not taking up their First Amendment rights. As soon as somebody takes their First Amendment rights up and they're like, hey, I want to go against you, you threaten to sue them. You threaten to sue them because they don't align with your ideas or what you want to talk about. You're just a cuck. You're just a giant cuck. Nobody cares. Nobody. You talk big saying you want to get in the ring or arena with people. For charity, though. If somebody comes up to you and wants to take you up on that, you scour away because you're a pussy. That's all you are. So today, you did get arrested. You did get arrested today. Yeah. It was in the news, local news. We already talked about this, but you did get arrested today, which was the funniest thing, the highlight of my evening hearing about this. I thought it was funny. Honestly, I did. I really did. I thought it was hilarious that you got arrested. I think it's hilarious. And, you know, you probably have all your followers. Woe is me. The world is going to end. He got arrested. He wasn't as powerful as he thought he was. He wasn't fucking Megatron. Optimus Prime. Superman. You were just a cuck with a microphone and a camera. And nobody cares. Nobody cares. And you're probably thinking, I am the biggest asshole you've ever seen in your entire life. I just don't like bullies. I don't like bullies. And that's what you are. You're a bully. That's all you are. So continue teaching trillions and billions and billions and zillions of people all around this universe about your constitutional law and how you think you're above it. Until then, finger guns.